Recently, a good question came up at the high school science meeting. As these pacing guides and curriculum maps get longer and longer as we continue to do some of our work, how do we get from the top of the document to specific places that we want to go to? And there's a lot of different reasons why you're going to want to jump from one place to the other. I was thinking specifically, though, where you left off last time you were working in the document. After we're done with these and we're actually using them as week-by-week -week pacing guides, you might want to be able to jump from one chapter to the other, one section to the other, based on where you're working instructionally. So, the easy way to do that is, if you scroll all the way down, let's just scroll down to a particular section, so I can just pick one, and I'll take Writing W5 right here. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go up to Insert, and scroll all the way down to Bookmark. Now, I'm letting the program know that this is where I want to jump back to next time. So I'm going to go back up now to the top of the document, and I'm going to click up here, hit enter, and give myself a section to be able to write down W5. Then I'm going to highlight that and go back up to the top and click insert link. Now because I've clicked insert link, it's showing as one of the choices bookmarks. So I'm going to click on bookmarks and you'll see that writing W5 that I just clicked on before is now in the bookmark choices. When I click on that and then click apply, I've now connected this W5 that I put up to the top with my link down at the bottom. I'll show you how that works. When I click on W5 now, this bookmark, the hashtag bookmark, pops up and it's an underlined link. When I click on it, it jumps me right back to that writing W5 section. Now once I've got bookmarks in, I may want to remove that bookmark. I don't want to use it anymore. I only, for just for this example, I only used it because I wanted to get from the top of the document to where I left off working last time. So I'm going to click on Remove, and then I'm going to go all the way back up to the top, and I'm going to highlight my W5, and then just hit the Delete button. Now it's gone. So you can add bookmarks and remove bookmarks as you need to for ease of jumping from the top of the document to where you were last time. Um, later on, there will obviously be a lot more uses when you make your own copy of the pacing guide for yourself when it's all finished and you want to be able to set it up to jump to specific sections based on where you're currently working in your classroom. So hopefully this is helpful to you. I want to thank the science team from the high school, Mike Sustin in particular, for pointing this out as an option that's available in Google Docs, and I thought it was something worth sharing with everybody who's interested. If you have any questions, please email me.